Hi, my name is Gianpaolo Fadini. I am Associate Professor of Endocrinology at the University of Padova. At the Venetian Institute of Molecular Medicine, my lab is devoted to the study of the bone marrow and circulating stem cells in diabetes and its complications. Diabetes is a worldwide growing epidemic and a significant health care issue all over the world. This is because diabetes leads to multi-organ complications that collectively reduce life expectancy and promote morbidity. While most of the research in this field has been conducted to understand why diabetes induces tissue damage, in this review article we focused on how diabetes impairs tissue regeneration through the contribution of stem and progenitor cells. This cartoon shows how diabetes affects the bone marrow and circulating stem cells and which are the consequences. An impaired recirculation of stem cells in and out the bone marrow can cause hematopoietic abnormalities and stem cell defects. A compromised homing of stem cells to peripheral tissues impairs regeneration and promotes chronic complications. Finally, an impaired patrolling activity of stem cells in peripheral lymphoid tissues may contribute to inflammatory and disturbances in innate immunity. Hi, I am Stefano Cicillo, postdoctoral fellow at Dr. Fadini's lab. In this review, we also discuss how human and experimental diabetes affects structure and function of bone marrow microenvironment. Imaging of the bone marrow has to take into account complexity of the stem cell niche, which is composed of bone, sinusoids, arterioles, capillaries, nerve terminals, adipocytes, stromal cells, and macrophages. This picture shows some of the alterations observed in the bone marrow of OBOB mice, a model of type 2 diabetes, as compared to control mice. You can see rarefaction and abnormal morphology of the microvasculature, as well as the reduction of arteriolar innervation by sympathetic nerve terminals and excess fat deposition. All these changes can affect bone marrow function. Hi, my name is Mattia Diero. I'm a senior postdoc at Dr. Sfarin's lab. The most important consequence of bone marrow alteration in diabetes is the effect of mobilization of stem cells from the bone marrow to the peripheral blood. This condition has been termed diabetic stem cell mobilopathy. With other labs, we are studying the molecular mechanism behind this alteration. For instance, two of my first auto paper demonstrate that sympathetic denervation and excess bone marrow macrophages independently impair stem cell mobilization in model of diabetes. In this article, we also discuss the therapeutic strategies to improve bone marrow function and stem cell bioavailability in diabetes, as well as which are the future developments in the field. Get in contact with us to share comments and discussion. Thank you for watching and enjoy reading the article.